so to solve this proportion, a lot of people when they mul when they cross when do the cross multiplying for the proportion, they multiply out the one, the twelve, and the ten. But I'm recommending that you leave it as twelve times ten. And the reason is because now when you divide by eight, you can see that the eight can cancel. In fact, I would even break eight up into two times two times two, personally. Because, and then I even break 12 up into three times two times two, and break 10 up into two times five. Because if you break it all the way into their primes, it's much easier to see that will cancel, that will cancel, that will cancel. And my answer is 15. And you don't need to use a calculator for it. You, not only that, but it helps you understand how, how fractions work, how numbers work together. Okay, so that's called simplify before you complicate. Simplify the fraction before you multiply things together and make them bigger. Because if you had 120 over 8, how do, you div how do you simplify that? I know what you do. You use your calculator. But what if you don't have a calculator? And did you need a calculator? And what if they weren't numbers? What if there were variables involved? Well, then you're going to want to be able to understand this concept of prime factorizations and canceling and all that kind of stuff. Okay?